Yeah, YouTubers, Tazman here, bringing you another episode of Solasta, Crown of the Magister. And I know in the last episode I say, hey, we're going to do a back-to-back -back because, you know, we reached our time, but I don't want to, you know, uh, stop the battle here. Uh, however, since then, uh, Tactical Adventures has released their expansion or their next what would it be called DLC whatever uh, the Lost Valley and it comes with a lot of cool free stuff and if you pay I think it's $13 $12.99 on Steam uh, you actually get the adventure itself as well so we're gonna go over that today so up here you'll see the little tokens showing what you have content for you know here was the primal calling they gave us our druid and our barbarian here is the Lost Valley. If it's gray, you don't own it, and you'll actually be able to click it and it will open up the Steam page so you can buy it. And a cool thing about that is it just unlocks it technically. So even if you're in game and you click on the Steam page and you click buy, you don't have to exit the game and load it back up. I know that's trivial, but uh, you don't have to do that. So. In this episode, we're going to go over, and hopefully it's not going to be a overly long episode, but there is a lot of content. Um, I'm going to kind of peruse over it. I'm going to try and remember to put little, maybe little boxes like right here that is the actual text from, the, from their update notes and from their post. Uh, just so you can read through everything. I don't want to go through every little thing. Uh, but even just going through the topics or the headings uh we're gonna look at a whole lot of stuff and some of them are short enough i might actually quickly read just so you get an idea so some of the big things i mean obviously with this uh with this expansion um if you buy the expansion you get additional content for your dungeon maker as far as places that you can actually build which are themed towards um the the lost valley uh i think there's like jungle let's see i could scroll down just a little bit and tell you uh da -da -da. right here i think so you get jungle swamp valley city and valley palace um, and then also you get additional monsters in in the dungeon maker that are specifically for um, the lost valley so it unlocks those as well however there is a lot to do with the dungeon maker a whole lot to do with the dungeon maker that uh, that uh, is actually free so I'm gonna start at the top the very first thing is right here look we now have a multiplayer this is free for everyone so if you own Solasta you actually have the multiplayer option and you can create or join games uh, up to four players two to four players uh, if we click in here you can see you can create your own game simply create the name create a password say is it going to be publicly visible or private uh, where they just have to know I guess the name of the session or something uh, you can set how many players is it two is it three is it four and cross play basically means other platforms so I I don't know what other platforms lost is on but uh, you know Windows console maybe Mac, Mac Linux I don't I don't know I think Celeste is on Linux I believe um, and maybe even Mac I'm not a hundred percent sure so this will make it so no matter what the platform is they can actually play as well uh, and then you just click uh, new adventure or you can load your game if you already have one you can load your game that uh, people will join if you're joining a game you just come here to the join game one and it will actually from what I've seen is at the very bottom there's this little dash and it seems like it will automatically select your region from that so if I went Asia here uh, you'll see there are no games there if I went to the dash at the bottom it seems to load okay I lied maybe it was because when I did that last I actually was in USA West and then I went to the dash so I don't know what the dash does uh, but anyway so here you can see uh, USA West which is my area you can see there's quite a few games most of them are set up to crossplay 
This one is saying that it's from a save, so it's not a brand new game. These ones right here with exclamation point are saying that they're brand new games, never been played before. If you're joining a private game, I imagine you just type the session name right here and then hit join game, it'll pop up a thing. So all of these are password protected. I did, as I was just perusing through these, I think it was in Canada. I did run into a couple that actually were unlocked. Like this one right here. The Lost Valley Papbex game. Um, I guess he's playing it right now or she's playing it. I don't know. Uh, but you could come in here and maybe join someone, which is kind of cool. Wow. Oh, Canada. Oh, this is Europe. I was like, oh, Canada, you're really busy. Um, so anyway, there's those options there. Uh, obviously here you can see the player count and the name of the session, the campaign that it's playing in. So, oh, I don't want to quit. Um, did I hit escape? Yes, I do. All right, so there's that. Uh, the next thing is there are new features. So, and I don't know what any of these things are. I'm assuming we're going to find out as we play the game, as we continue our game that we're doing. Uh, that we will find out what these these features are. So it says spell casting chance. There's only four of these, so I might go ahead and just read these. It says your spell casters are no longer mute when casting spells. And we've added an additional spell casting animation to boot. You can turn off chance in the option menu. So I'm I'm thinking this means that when they're actually casting a spell, you'll hear them going, Ola, kapa, da, kapa, or some somewhere, probably not that, but you know, something similar. Uh, there's crafting feats, which we still have to look into. We haven't crafted a single thing, and I really think we probably should have by now from uh, what another Game Please has been saying that we should be doing that. Uh, so it says, tired of having to pick a specific background in order to craft potions and magic items? We've added two feats to solve that problem. So. Now there's actually crafting feats that make it so you don't have to have a specific background. They're not railroading you into a background to actually be able to get crafting. Like I said, I don't know much about that yet. I really want to look into it and I want to find out how we craft stuff because we have lots of we have lots of crafting stuff in our inventories and, and such. Uh, surprise system overhaul. It sounds like with this one, it says now more faithful to tabletop rules individ uh, with individual perception checks for each surprise enemy making fights even uh, more even. So just because you surprise, uh, you get the surprise on a, a, a group of mobs does not mean that every single mob is surprised. So they'll actually have their own role to see if they actually, I think it's their passive perception. Uh, whether they actually were surprised or not so you might not have an entire group of mobs all surprised just because you got the surprise on them and then it says random encounter update instead of surprising being surprised random counters will now often be fought more evenly with both parties aware of each other so it sounds like once again both parties will get the chance to do those surprise checks and see who is surprised. So that's the only one I'm probably going to actually read because a lot of these others are going to be uh, quite a bit of uh, a text. Actually, there might be one other that requires the DLC. Um, so in the Dungeon Maker, this is actually becoming more and more what I would call a campaign maker because it is it is definitely much much more than just making dungeon maps now so if we click on the dungeon maker you'll actually see we have a campaign here and it's showing you that they're ready I don't remember if it said that before but you can see this one's not ready because it does not have a starting location where these guys do I think these are ones that we're just messing around with so here's my campaign um, Actually, you know, let's make a new one. So when we come in here with Campaign Maker, now, or Campaign Creator, we do our same stuff. We give it a title, description, technical info, info author, version, main character level, max character level. We can pick a nice little picture. 
Uh, but then we have all these options over here on the side now. We have, uh, we can create our own quests, we can create our own dialogue trees, we can create variables, um, which is going to be really nice uh, for kind of uh, programmatic decision trees and stuff like that. Uh, we can make custom items, we can make custom monsters, we can make custom NPCs, uh, we can make custom merchant inventories, and we can make loot packs. So this is all really cool, and I don't know, I wonder if we have to, let's just do this, uh, T4ZZPLAYS, we'll just call it Taz Plays, uh, T4, I think you probably have to have at least this in there. Uh, before it will let you do it. Let's just call it uh, 1.0. Sure, why not? Uh, main character level. Isn't max 13? Uh, description we don't care about. Probably don't need that. So I think in order to like start doing these things, it has to uh, save it inside of what your campaign is going to be. So we're going to quickly just look in each of these, just kind of get a little idea of what they are location is my guess is going to be your map maker so you're going to be able to have lots of maps in here uh you can import export so if we click new location oh we have to save the uh, save 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 there we go uh let's go to new location did i click it i think I, yeah i did click it so yeah that's right so this could be uh D-U-N-G-E-O-N, -E dungeon, description, don't care about that, necropolis. So um, in here we can see our new ones uh, and they actually, oh that's cool, they actually have this little icon to show you what, uh, where they come from. So these were all just ones that were just general. These are actually, if you do not have this, my guess is, and you can tell me if you don't own this uh, expansion pack, these will be grayed out and maybe you can actually click on that and it'll pull up the steam page i'm imagining they're going to stick that everywhere you know give you every possible opportunity available for you to be able to um purchase <laughs> that so that's going to be my guess uh let's let's do let's do a swamp uh set your size we've all seen that before we can this might be new. Did we? Well, it says clear weather. Uh, so that doesn't have anything new. We can actually put some music in there and test it, play it. Um, I think that's good. Let's go ahead and hit apply because we have a lot to do. There we go. Uh, so it looks like we have lake, 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 lots of lakes. Lake, lake, small clearing, large clearing. Lots of cool little doodads and props. I wonder when it's going to hit the point where we can actually make 3D maps with with lots of levels. Uh, kind of like that one where we fought, uh, we started up at the top of the waterfall, fought some of those snake bird thingies. I can't remember what they were. They kind of look like tiger snakes with wings and then we went down some rocks and stuff i can't wait till we can get that level of of map making i don't think it's there yet i haven't seen anything that says multi-level uh we did in our last episode see that we could create some stairs and create a another small level up but i don't think it goes quite to that extent but this is looking really cool we have lots of uh neat props here uh, under our gadgets and triggers, we have a falling trunk. Oh, this is like the kind you can push. We have foliage, probably that you can burn and stuff. Pushable block, torches, different mobs, uh, visual dialogue, idle NPCs. That I believe is new. This is new, and that is new. Uh, that's probably new. Creature destroyer. Uh, creatures destroyed permanently cannot be respawned. This gadget must be triggered by an activator. This element can be placed on the ground, following cells, ground, ground high, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this gadget can be remotely triggered by activator gadgets. Interesting. Uh, weapon rack chest. So I think we've seen most of these. I don't remember if we've seen harvestables. 
uh, lore boxes, virtual lore. I think these, there might be a couple more of these. Here's some of our variable stuff, which is nice. Our teleporter individual party. I don't remember if we had no. There's our activators. It looks like there's, a, that one's new, I believe. Uh, I don't know if roll activator was there. Entrance, exit, exit multiple, virtual exit multiple, trap door, manhole cover, allow manhole cover, grant item. Very cool. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit save and close because we want to look at some of these other things. So now if we go up to a location, we should, well, I technically didn't actually create anything. Uh, let's go look at quests. So here is our quests. Uh, is it a main quest, secondary quest, destiny quest, hidden quest, faction quest? That's cool. Uh, and I'm just going to leave all that. Does it auto start? Okay. So here's the quest start. So we set up a step. We make it as a standard choice or optional. Quest title, description. We can add functions here. Grant experience, gain. Uh -huh. We delete that now outcome if it's successful if it's a failure so you can have options there uh, and then of course you have oh zoom out and it gets nice and small and then we have a quest in so that's cool we we actually have an a, ability to make quests now let's hit close are you sure you want us without saving yes all right let's go check out dialogues real quick uh, dialogue my dialogue that's good additional NPCs so you can actually add NPCs for the dialogue oh there we go apply so we have dialogue start Is it character speech NPC variable text to the starter so I wonder if this is the stuff they actually use can I move any of this stuff out no in now oh wait if I just click it so if I right click it does it go away so we could actually have another one if we go into a new state uh, we could maybe have it go to out to in and then in to out out to in again okay uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. I'll definitely have to play with these more, figure out exactly what they do. Go ahead and close that, say yes. Uh, so that was, di that was dialogues. Can we, I wonder if this will remember that we did that. Oh, there's our dungeon right there. Uh, go ahead and close that one. All right, new variable. Let's see what this one is. So it can be an integer type, boolean, and a string. So, you know, if you know programming, this is pretty standard. The default value, if we do it to this, it'll be true or false. If we do it to this, it'll be just something we could type. And it doesn't look like this one goes much more advanced than that. That's, that's actually all you'd really need is this variable. Is it a Boolean? Is it a string or an integer or a number? Uh, custom items. So we can select an item, it looks like. So if we, that does not look like a ball. Let's do battle axe. So what happens if we do that? Okay, so now we can override it. So it's using, this is the template. Uh, we can give it a different title. We can give it a different description and then we can add our own effects. It has a saving throw, what kind of damage. We can add more effects and we can change the cost. Very cool, I like that. Uh, so let's custom item, custom monsters. So once again, you're basing it off a of monster. Look how many mon look how many monsters there are just with this new uh, expansion. I don't see any that had the other logo. So maybe this is just a new thing and they didn't actually kind of retro it back to previous. Let's go. Let's go do what's what's our heaviest guy in here let's do a zealot 
So now, once again, you can override, override, override his ability scores, armor class, hit points, saving throws, skills, uh, damage affinities, individual attacks. So here's his attack, shocking antenna, you can change. So if you do this, you can change it, add more effects, bite, claws, and then you can actually say what loot he drops. So that would be what's in those little bags. Yeah, I like that. Okay, uh, custom NPCs, whoops. Kind of same thing. Uh, now is this, I wonder if this uses characters you create too, or doesn't look like it. Rug rock. So you can change his title and his description. They really don't have any stats it looks like. Although, no, that's just custom NPCs. Custom inventories. So we would custom merchant inventory title. The name of the content element. This will be displayed to the end player. Can detect magic, can identify items and then you just add stock. And then I would imagine, so this is a merchant inventory. So I imagine, was it in NPCs? Did they have an option to say they're a merchant? And then loot packs. So you just give it a, you just uh, give it a title and then you just add stuff. That is really cool. I like that. Uh, so, uh, import export so that's very cool too uh, also I noticed here that now we have a steam workshop so you can actually browse this I don't know if you guys can see this I'm gonna assume you can't but you'll actually be able to go into the steam workshop and uh, access oh, I probably can't see that. my guess you can't see that I don't know uh, but you'll be able to access the steam workshop and you can publish your things to the steam workshop very cool all right, so that's Dungeon Maker. Then, of course, if you've purchased it, you actually get a new campaign that goes from level 1 through 12. I don't know why they didn't do 13. Um, it does say, and this is cool because this is a non-linear uh, campaign from what I understand. It says a playable, not oh, right there, non-linear uh, story with multiple endings as you will be the one deciding which faction to side with in order to escape the valley. It says brand new environments to explore. Lost Valley um, does not take place in the same region as Crown of the Magister and new foes to face. With iconic monsters such as giants, hags, golems, you will try, uh, who will try to turn your party into mush. And then of course, one of the other big features that requires the DLC is that there is nine new subclasses. So one subclass per class um they did not list them in this thing i don't think let me just scroll down a little further no but they do have a link to a video that that goes over i did watch it it's actually pretty cool uh then it says dungeon maker additional content does require the lost valley and that will give you the four environments we looked at and also the additional monsters that had the little lost valley thing and then there is a bunch of things that are general improvements that are part of the free stuff so everyone gets it there's general bug fixes everyone gets it absolutely free and there is a ton of those um and then there's a couple known issues uh to actually go over uh well to look at and know that these things might actually happen. So we're at 24 minutes. I think that is plenty long. I think we covered everything that uh, Lost Valley has to offer. Uh, and also, I guess, the update. Because technically, Lost Valley, whether, whether you get Lost Valley or not, you are getting a lot of stuff as a free update. So Lost Valley is uh, basically giving you a new campaign, giving you new things for the Dungeon Maker, and also giving you uh, where the subclasses did I say they were yes and the subclasses so that's not bad for 12.99 I believe it is 
so definitely go check it out on Steam. Um, I might uh, do multiplayer where I can actually stream it on my Twitch channel uh, with you guys. I know that uh, another game please has told me that he's usually available Sunday nights, which I could probably make work. So if there's any of you other people out there that would like to do that. One question I do have about multiplayer is the game is designed for four players. So if I'm only able to get two players, can one person play two players and another place person play two players? Or does the owner play, say, three players while the other play person plays one player? That we can actually find out really quick and easy once we actually do it. But I'd like to know any of you others out there if you have an interest in this, maybe Sunday nights. Uh, not every Sunday night, uh, but just here and there uh, when, when schedules line up. Uh, if you'd be interested in that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, that reminds me one last thing. Um, I did have one, one comment from, uh, from another game, please. And uh, this is in regard to our last session, but he hasn't actually seen the next session because, well, that's coming out next week, but it is all recorded and says spirit guardians would be good. Uh, to cast if you can and guess what we're on the same wavelength because well I was thinking the same thing now whether I can or can't I guess you're gonna have to find out by watching the next episode so that is really at this time thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed if you did be sure to leave a thumbs up down below aside from that comment like and subscribe follow me on Twitter Check out my Discord and my other channels. And don't forget to tell other people about my channel. Come check it out. They like what they see. They can sub. We grow the channel. Win-win for everyone. Uh, you know, they win because they get goodish content. And I win because I get more subscribers and growing the channel. And gives me more uh, motivation and such. Anyway, I'm rambling on. So... That is it, my friends. Until next time, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.